Hi, I'm Camille from SixSisterStuff.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite Christmas recipes, Rocky Road Fudge. This is so simple to throw together and it's something fun you can do with your kids for the holidays and it makes a great neighbor gift or neighbor treat if you want to run something over to them to say thanks for being a good neighbor or maybe they let you borrow a ladder and you needed to give them back. But simple to throw together, you need a bag of chocolate chips, you can use milk or semi-sweet doesn't matter and then just a can of sweetened condensed milk they even make a fat free sweetened condensed milk but um, it's the holidays calories don't count so feel free to go for the full fat one but if you are trying to cut back you can use fat free too it tastes just the same so give that a good mix and then you're gonna throw it in the microwave for about one minute on high so we'll quickly do that Okay, after about 60 seconds, your chocolate chip should be pretty melted. So just give it a good stir, mix together the milk and those chocolate chips. If you need to throw it back in, you can do it for 10 to 20 seconds, um, just until it's smooth and all the chips are melted. Okay, we'll give that just a second to cool. So you're going to get a 9 by 13 baking pan glass pan, a metal pan, whatever you've got, doesn't matter. You're going to line it with aluminum foil. Just press it down in there, especially in the corners, and then spray it with nonstick cooking spray, just really lightly. You don't want it to be really greasy, but you don't want it to stick either. Okay, so your chocolate should be all smooth and melted. From here, you're going to add in about a cup and a half of nuts. Now you can use whatever nuts you like, if it's peanuts, walnuts, pecans. I did kind of a mix of peanuts and walnuts and just um, chopped them pretty small. And then you're gonna add about three cups of mini marshmallows. It's about half a bag. And this is where your kids can help you, dumping in the marshmallows, dumping in the nuts, and then give it a good stir. You just want all the marshmallows to be completely covered with chocolate. It looks like a big gooey mess, but that's how you know it's good. Okay. So, once you get it all covered, you're just going to press it down into your 9 by 13 pan. Now, it's going to be a little bit messy, and I have found that it's easiest to just use your hands and get in there if you can't quite press it to the edges. Once you get it all dumped in, move this. just want to spread it all to the edges. <laughs> that foil is going to slide all over. Like I said, it's just going to be easiest if you can get in there with your hands and spread it all out. Now because the chocolate is warm, your marshmallows will kind of start to grow and get a little bit gooey, but that's okay. That's, they're better that way. Okay, and there you go. It's kind of bumpy, but that's why it's called Rocky Road Fudge. Throw it in your fridge, let it chill for 30 to 60 minutes. Um, if you can even do it overnight, that's best. But when it's all done, you can pull it out I'm going to wipe my hands off really fast. So from here, just pull out your tin foil and spread it out. Now these ones I made with semi-sweet chocolate chips, so it's a little bit darker. The ones I just made were with milk chocolate. Tastes good either way. Um, just depends what you like. And then once you pull your foil out, it should be really easy to cut. You can cut it into as big of slabs as you want or small. Um, like I said, they're great for holiday treats and gift giving because they're so cool with the marshmallows and nuts and they just look good. So for more yummy Christmas recipes or anything else, be sure to check out our site, SixSisterStuff.com.